Okay, so last question. Hi, Triple A. Love the show. Keep at it. Those sort out your sound. Yeah. yeah we sorry. Know. Yeah. We we do know. It's it, fund us. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a bit better for you too. Yeah, and definitely fund us. Honestly, Please. like. I, I could get into why there's an issue with, with the microphones, but and and I keep fixing it. But it's it's I know this basic sound. Yes, yeah, it, we're it we're running works. on a very low budget, like non-existent, budget, non-existent. Basically. Like yeah. yeah. So I'm surprised no one has asked this explicitly yet, but I'd love to hear your opinions about polyamory. It seems about very that polyamory. Uh, sorry, no. I'd like to hear your opinions about polyamory. <laughs> it seems very fashionable amongst the left. Have you got any experience? Does it work at all? Thanks. Right. Okay. It is popular on the left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for good okay. and for bad. So, oh, my heart is kind of shaking a little bit. So, yeah, I'm kind of, I have my own surprise, but you haven't got this question mm-hmm. earlier. And it's something that I sa- kind of managed to avoid talking about this whole time. But, um... Have we not dipped in? I feel like... <laughs> what <laughs> <is> <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, to put my cards on the table, I am like, I think, eight years polyamorous now, so it's not a phase, it's a thing. It's been, I think, started maybe when I was about 20 years old, I'm um, coming up to 28. Mm. But, um, so yeah, so with with um, serious, long, long term partners, and sometimes, you know, and sometimes there are patches where for two years I'm not seeing a second person or anything like that, you know, so, so it's absolutely not like... Well, that's all. Actually, I have way more conservative, I think, <laughs> sex life than a lot of my like um, monogamous peers, as such. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a big part of my life. Something that I don't talk about at all in public uh, because it just again, there's a lot of judgments about this, and for a good, fucking good reason. This is why I want to address that bit about the left. Is it's kind of similar. Sorry, I'm just gonna do a wee yeah, monologue, do it, but like. Do it. Um, it's a little bit similar to like animal rights activists, perhaps, where like the cause is fantastic. Or like the vegans. Or vegans, yeah. The <laughs> cause is fantastic and really, really fucking important. The people doing it and the sort of aesthetics that they create around it and the mistakes that they make that actually forms the image of, of, of it is, is fucking terrible. So a lot of the time I'm embarrassed to call myself polyamorous because majority of polyamorous people, well, so called polyamorous people that I know, are manipulative. I don't know, also braggy, um, actually involve themselves in a lot of very, very toxic yeah, relationships. And or they create this whole like, you know, hippie, like a whole hippie aesthetic around them, which just basically it's just like, oh, you know, everyone's just so chill and all that stuff. And also like shitting on monogamous people. Oh yeah. As if like they're so basic and they're stuck in this like misogynistic patriarchal model oh, of the nuclear family and yeah. can't they just be more woke already? Exactly. It's only, if only you like re- like opened yeah. up to polyamory all of that stuff. No, no, no. It's absolutely subjective. You know, and like absolutely not everyone can do this. I, you know, and it, it is a, a lot of hard work, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And I hate the logos that they around it. I don't talk about it a lot because basically I'm fucking embarrassed by the polyamorous scene a lot of the time. But it was like yeah. when I was vegan, I didn't want to tell anyone I was vegan because I was like, I don't get associated with the like, yeah, the vegans, like, kind of like vegan yeah. student. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and actually, it's been a struggle to yeah. like find. Partners, because I think as soon as you say to mm-hmm. someone you're polyamorous, everyone just kind of assumes you're this that that crazy hippie poly couple that they have heard about, and it's just like it's not like that at all. It's a lot of the time it's way darker, sadder, but more like, more interesting. But basically, anyway. but all people when you tell them you're, that you're polyamorous, like they assume that therefore you won't love them fully, Precisely. which is a real problem. That like people will misunderstand. As if like there is like a quota of like affection, and if you're already with someone, therefore your quota is half full, and you will not be able to be their like full partner. Exactly. There's this like an idea of zero sum game, right? Mm. Where um, it 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 is the idea that like you can only have hundred percent to someone, and if you're gonna put you know in addition to that, then that the, the former partner will either be getting less, or the second partner will be hoping that they will be. Yeah, getting a bit of that attention, whereas no, it's competitive, which is yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas the way I see it is just like you're doing polyamory wrong if you're not growing both relationships at the same time. You should also never do it if if you're in a bad place with your current partner. It's never, never date someone else out of spite. Yes, yes, that whole tit for tat thing. That's absolute fucking bullshit. And basically, what we're replying, what we're saying with polyamory is like it's not an open relationship per se. Like you don't just sleep around. It is. They are committed, loving relationships. But to be fair, like, so I've been in two polyamorous relationships. Mm, I don't know. I would actually, I would say one polyamorous relationship and one open relationship. 
And like me and Mary Ann, for example, have different models of polyamory. Like my model uh, with my former partner included, like, you can hook up with someone else and that's fine and actually we didn't need to tell each other if we just had like a one night stand or a hook up or this or this. But if that progresses to become a serious, like, caring, emotionally engaged relationship, that's when we should talk about it and like make sure that we're both on the same page. Whereas your model, as I understand it, you don't include hookups at all in it. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. I mean, again, that can change maybe at some point. Uh, that, that's that not currently that practice at all, no, and um, really it is a search for meaningful relationships and yeah. such, uh, which is fucking difficult, as you can imagine, especially now we're all getting a bit older as well, like it's, it was way easier back in the, uh, my early 20s, and it was kind of very fashionable, and then so everyone was fully Yeah, not too much anymore, hey? Not, yeah, yeah, funny, like it is a bit of a like, people, <laughs> oh my god, yeah. one of the most painful things that has happened to me uh, was someone that I was in the polyamorous relationship for like five years with, they then, um, really now saying, to me, fuck it, like, honestly, like, they have hurt me by saying that, and I'm more than happy to yeah. s- say no, so what one change. shouldn't be doing is, and then they found, you know, a mon- monogamous partner, and then next time, well, I don't know, we spoke about maybe a year or two after our, our relationship, and then they kind of, just as a side note, were like, yeah, you know, I just, like, I just kind of grew up out of polyamory sort of thing. That hurt me so much, yeah. I, like, fucking cried in that, because it definitely implies, yeah, that there's just, like, there's a better state of being and or what we were doing was not serious and or well no 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 I think I think uh, but then I asked like um you know whenever we were doing it did you also think no no and to be fair they were sure being like no I think when it was with us it was real and it was genuine and it was important but basically and find that like they're in a different stage in their lives now but and the point is know. you can choose to be poly and you can choose not to be poly and I've chosen both at different times of my life but I would not privilege one over the other as being the more mature option or the more sensible option or the more lasting option because I also know of polyamorous couples in their like 30s and 40s that have children and like well, also, I don't, I don't and really see it as a choice either. I mean, I, I think... Yeah, for you it's not. I mean, for me yeah. it is, but yeah. Okay. You see more, more of like a part of your intrinsic way of negotiating love, I think. I think energy. it's just an, it's an honest... Um, it's an... I don't know, it's an honest kind of... Um, getting in terms to terms of, of, of my feeling that like people fancy each other and it's okay. I just rather that that would be done kind of consensually and also, you know, without this kind of competition. That's why I'm not really necessarily into hookups and all of that, you know, because I don't think it should be, yeah, I, I, I think, I know what you're gonna say, that basically I don't understand that people fancy each other, so it's okay to just hook up and that sort of thing. Like, well, no, it's more like I only know I fancy someone if I flirt with them a bit, if I like this and yeah, this. Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah. Like, and I can't tell my partner that I want a relationship with this person until. You well, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's definitely that's the, that's the sort of that tricky part that we I've been through quite a few times, yeah. where it's just basically you 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 basically you tell someone that you are, you know, you tell your current partner maybe that you are interested in someone you are going to find out how it goes, but it's not just the case of like sleeping with them and then leaving. Basically yeah. that you are interested in developing a loving relationship with them. And most of the time it doesn't matter because the other person breaks out and like, <laughs> yeah. and, and, and fucks off. And it's it's very sad because I actually have invested like feelings towards that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's kind of weird to be... And it's weird, it's just like kind of this like public coming out. I don't know. Yeah, I know it's nothing as such, but I don't know. It's this... No, it's a thing, and it's a thing that's often misunderstood and, like, yeah. derided by, like, Guardian articles and, like... Yeah. It's either by, like, holier-than-thou poly people or, like, monogamous people, like, and looking at it like a silly pastime you do. And there's and no way I want to idealise it. It's so much work. Like, you have to basically, uh, you know, hold so much constant communication with your partners and so much, you know, I guess, uh, fight in your in your heart as well. Like the idea that there's no jealousy is fucking ridiculous. Of course there is, but you have to, I don't know, just work through that. And when it works, when it actually, when there is that that perfect, I don't know, moment when you do have multiple relationships and everyone is happy, it, it, there's just, I don't know, there, the, for me, there's nothing better than that. I'm sure that's how people feel when they just have the one and whatnot, but like, it's it's wonderful. It's wonderful. It's just, it's, it's the best thing, but, um, but yeah, like it, it, it's rare. It's rare. Yeah. A lot of the time, it is just like a case of trying to reassure people. And but then I, I have a problem because I feel like poly people have to justify this kind of thing more, 
more. And I feel like, honestly, it's also rare to be in a monogamous relationship and feel like everything's perfectly content and there's no jealousy and there's no doubt and there's no insecurity and this and this. No, no. I don't, and think, think, monogamous people, I don't think monogamous people talk about no, it. No, because I think monogamous people like normalize jealousy and doubt and fear and the idea that their partner might be cheating them rather than talking about it openly, which is why I'm like kind of... I don't like monogamy culture. Like, I remember one thing my dad saying to me was like, oh, but you're like okay with your like boyfriend like sleeping with other people and I'm like honestly I'd rather he was sleeping with other people than he was thinking about sleeping with other people and not doing it and then not telling me absolutely like that's yeah, the most horrific agree. thing that's literally it <laughs> that's the kind of thing I was just like I am maybe again it's like some weird fear of abandonment or whatnot like there's just like this fear that someone's gonna like find someone maybe that is like better and then then you are not gonna like I don't know like honestly I haven't even, never even internalized those feelings it's just like I started dating people when I was 17, by 20 I was polyamorous, I'm 28 right now, it's just all I've known at this point, and it's just like, I just, I hate the idea that we, I was with, just with someone, and, and I would have to hide my, 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 my fancy towards other people, yeah. or to think that they have that, and they can't talk to me yeah. about this, Yeah. I don't know, yeah, and, and I just, I think it's absolutely fine to receive different things from different from people again as long as it's done in a consensual manner I don't think I'm enough like I mean I don't know I think I don't think anyone is enough ever yeah. and it's just and it's fine no one person can fulfill all of another person's needs and it doesn't have to just be through like multiple partners it's also through like friendship groups and this and this and this but like and again like this is not to say that I am not into like like 40 year relationships and dying with someone that I fucking love because I am, I've only, literally, I've only been in, like, long-term relationships. Yeah, That's the right. thing. It's like, I, I, I just think it's absolutely realistic to be in incredibly long-term relationships, but as polyamorous people. So this is not a rejection well, of, of happily ever after. No, it's, but it's very, very toxic to assume and to expect one person to fulfill all of your emotional and, like, romantic needs. That's, that's a very dangerous but it situation. Happens, of course. Like, there are all these... You know, so many of my friends' parents, but even yours and like some, uh, any of uh, well, a lot of others, you know, they're just like, you know, they, they meet, they fall in love, and then they have children and they die loving together and sure. all of that stuff. But it doesn't mean they never fancy anyone else or whatever. Like, there's also shitloads of divorces and affairs, like, yeah, you know, and that's okay as well. Like, yeah, anyway, so basically, it's a different way, yeah. exactly. It's a different way. So, yeah, thank you so much for the question. It is weird that like no one has asked us about and this. And if you have any other questions about your polyamorous scenarios or whatever, we'd be happy to answer them because yeah. we come from different perspectives, but we're kind of aligned on the idea that like poly is something that should be talked about and should be, if not encouraged, but at least supported. But, like, um, yeah, but also to completely, completely uh, not underestimate the fact that my majority of polyamorous people are fucking terrible like they fucking are they use polyamory to fucking be toxic in their relationships like i but totally that's the most monogamous that. people so you know yeah toxic people be toxic <laughs> yeah yeah um but again we also we're quite aware we don't want this to just become like a, a show for lefties by lefties mm. as such so that's why the, the the questions that fascinate us the most are the ones that are talking about that you know the 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 very very slippery line when someone you know yeah, goes from, I don't know, that is, that they're in between the two fields of being, you know, progressive yeah. feminist and, and the towards the old Ike, who are much better about talking about, well, not that they're talking better stuff, but they're at least talking about these issues. Whereas, yeah. as the left, we're like, me. for all of our, like, you know, polyamorous aesthetics and bullshit and, like, all the, like, love, 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 like, we're fucking terrible talking about our feelings. Yeah, like, okay, right. I'm particularly talking to men about men's feelings, like, it's yeah. really under underappreciated as an important field on the yeah. left. Yeah, uh, something again about the uh, police stuff is like what I found um, to do with men is just that um, it's much more difficult for a polyamorous man to find partners actually than it is for a woman and I haven't had that, well I had some luck but um, it's still easier for me because for the dudes they, the, the women a lot of the time assume, maybe sometimes rightly, that the dude just like mm. wants it all, just wants two chicks, you know, that stuff. Yeah, there's so, a lot of like, yeah, like stereotype issues about yeah, like yeah, the guy yeah. with multiple babes who's like, oh, who's like me? Yeah, yeah, so basically like I would 
be sometimes with two partners and then like I would encourage my partners to you know also be po- if they want to if they want to absolutely there were some that totally were just like monogamous they were just with me and that was perfectly fine as well but they do want to and they were like mate like I'm trying like they just assume that I'm trying to like I don't know I'm trying to get some not some sort of yeah. play date next to you or something and that's bullshit that's sad and I don't know I don't know so it's this whole fucking world that again as I say I don't talk about at all in public but it's it's a thing. Yeah and if you have any more questions about it send us all away. Yeah.